Hello YouTube, my name is Maureen and welcome to Green Reads. Um, this may be my last review for a little while. I think I'm finally caught up on reviews, um, back reviews that I needed to do. So this is my last one, probably for the next couple weeks. Hopefully it's going to be full of tags um, for the next few weeks. So the last review is going to be about Jillian Flynn, Dark Places. Um, I'm going to tell you right now, this book was dark as hell. Um, it follows the story of Libby Day. Uh, and Libby is about 30 years old in this book. Um, her entire family, well, her mother, her three sisters, I believe. Her mother and her two sisters were murdered. And her brother is in jail for the murder of those, of all three of them. And she starts to think that, well, there's a few things that happen. Um, there is a kill club involved, and the kill club is about people who, you know, are obsessed with high-profile murders, like we would associate it with, um, let me see, like person I can think of is like Lacey Peterson and O.J. Simpson, things like that, people who are obsessed with that. Um, you know, there's people that were assist or, um, so obsessed with Libby's parents getting murdered, or Libby's mother and sisters getting murdered. She's obsessed with it. So what she does, she just starts, starts to do some investigating on her own to find out, you know, if she was wrong, if she wrongly committed her brother to jail. Um, so this book actually goes back and forth. Um, you know, the first chapter, every other chapter. Um, so one chapter would be present day with either Libby or her brother or someone else, and then the following chapter would be um, within 24 to 48 hours of the murder, so it be a flashback. Um, Jillian Flynn does write like that, and I think it's really cool to see, you know, from two ends, and then it kind of meets in the middle, um, you know, what actually goes down. So I think that's fun and really suspenseful. Um, I really do love Jillian Flynn. Um, I have read Gone Girl and I read Sharp Objects. Um, I loved them both. This was by far the hardest thing to read because of the subject matter. I know um, Gone Girl is pretty heavy and so is Sharp Objects, but this just like tore at me for some reason. I was having just, I would get really depressed reading it and it was just not a good time. But this was still very good nonetheless. Um, definitely a page turner. Um, I also found this for some reason it was like a little bit more wordy than um, Gone Girl for some reason. Like it's just like, I, it's hard to explain but like I felt like I was reading a whole lot more than I was when I was reading Gone Girl. Um, this book comes in at 345 pages so you know something small Something in between what I've been reading lately, kind of a smaller book, but definitely, definitely a good read. Um, you could probably finish it for like in a week, like on vacation or you know on a long car ride. I know people are getting ready to do car rides and trips and everything like that for the holidays. Um, so who would I recommend this book to? Anybody who's read Gone Girl and really loved it, I would definitely recommend this to. Try and find a good spot for it. Um, I would recommend it to anybody who is into high-profile murder cases and gets obsessive like that. Um, I know I do a little bit, so that's maybe why I enjoyed it. So yeah, if you like Gone Girl and you are into high-profile murders, then this is the novel for you. Um, but it, I will tell you right now, things you read will make you very depressed. So, I... I don't know. I usually would read it before I went to work, and I go to work all sad, and I didn't realize why. It was because because I was reading this. So I do take that into precaution when you read it. Um, but yeah, I really really like this. And I also like that each one of her books has this like font, like like this font, whatever that is. I love it, and it's different colors for every book. Well. Pretty sure Star Projects and Gone Girl had red, but this was blue and I like the blue and green. Um, but yeah, if you are interested in going to a dark place in your head, 
definitely read dark places because it'll take you there. But, I don't know, not for everybody. I don't know, I feel like I'm talking in circles around here, so. YouTube, definitely going to try and do a tag probably on Thursday. I'll probably prepare for whatever tag I'm going to do. But, that's about it. So, YouTube, until we meet again.